what's up leo how you guys feeling this is a message specifically for you sun moon venus rising north node leo placements this is your reading i hope you guys enjoy this message keep an open mind everything may not resonate with you take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for another leo out there cross watchers i know y'all asses is in here with y'all looking asses okay but that's cool everybody's welcome here just make sure that you apply the roles as you see fit okay if the message is resonating with you but you feel like the roles are reversed flip and bounce the roles as you see fit okay these are not gender specific messages okay so you know yeah they're not gender specific okay so if you're masculine you're feminine okay however you resonate whatever your pronouns are if the message is for you it's for you take it as it resonates don't get too caught up on um zodiac signs okay don't get too caught up on zodiac signs that i mentioned and don't get too caught up on genders okay all right let's get into the message y'all thank you for watching thank you for being here i appreciate you guys welcome back if you are returning and if you are new and joining us for the first time welcome i'm happy to have you there welcome to be true tarot i do curse from time to time i'm working on that okay so if cursing offends you this may not be the channel for you but i am working on it i'm trying not to curse as much all right but sometimes you know shit just be crazy <laughs> all right what's going on what's going on what's going on leo i feel like i was about to call you capricorn some of you could be dealing with a capricorn leo here you are strengthen of your words some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody here could be on a cancer Leo cusp. Okay. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. Father God, I ask that you cover and protect my energy as I channel this message for Leo. I also ask that you protect the viewer's energy as well. That's watching this for their highest good. Father, what messages do you have for Leo regarding their highest good? What messages does Leo need during this time in regards to their highest good? Father, what messages do you have for my Leos? Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos during this time? Give me two more shuffles for my beautiful and handsome Leos out there. What is it that they need to hear? Some of you could be dealing with cancer. Oh, yeah, I said that. Okay, I'm getting cancer and Gemini energy here. And Leo, there we have the strength in reverse again. It wants to come out. Leo, are you tired of somebody? Are you frustrated? Okay, are you overwhelmed? Are you drained? Make sure that you're not overworking yourself. I'm hearing that somebody needs to drink more water. Okay, so make sure that you are staying hydrated. Make sure that you're drinking enough water. Make sure that you're getting enough sleep, okay? I'm also getting here that somebody here needs to switch up their diet. Somebody here needs to eat a little bit healthier, okay? We all to probably eat healthier, right, Leo? But I'm definitely getting this energy of hydration, okay? Hydrating, eating healthier, and getting more sleep. Exercise and being active, okay? Self-care. We have Taurus in the reverse, and we could be dealing with a Taurus. And we have have no fear here in the upright, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius, okay? We have Aquarius that wanted to come out, but we'll see if it actually comes out. Yeah, I'm getting Taurus, Aquarius energy here, okay? I'm also getting Gemini. I have Libra here with the Justice card, okay? And let's see what's going on, Leo. Okay. Are you trying to manifest something right now? I feel I'm hearing I got my eyes on the prize. I'm manifesting. Some of you are manifesting a new home. Okay, manifesting money, manifesting a new home, more stability, more security. Okay, all right, Leo. I'm wishing you the best on everything, baby. Something could be coming to an end, but I don't really get that it's a bad tower. I feel like something's coming to an end. But it's a good tower for you because you're tired of this shit anyway. So whatever's ending, it's a good ending because you're tired of it anyway. You're sick of it anyway. Okay? Yeah. I'm telling you, you're going to be happy. Okay, Leo? I rest my case. There you are, Leo, again, with the sun in the reverse. It's like whatever you're tired of, whatever's frustrating you, whatever's overwhelming you, it's actually coming to an end, right? And you're actually happy about this shit. You're happy about this ending, whatever it may be. Whatever's ending, you're happy about this shit. Okay, you happy about this shit because you're tired of it anyway. <laughs> so I'm telling you, if this is a relationship ending, you don't give a fuck because you're tired of this person anyway. And if it's a job that's coming to an end, you don't give a fuck because you're tired of going to that job anyway. I'm getting whatever's ending, you happy as hell. 
okay? It's bringing you more peace. It's bringing you more comfort. It says stay focused. Remember why you started, all right? So I do feel like right now, also, some of you may not be seeing the uh, rewards, okay? Okay, you may not be seeing the rewards or the recognition for something that you invest in. Uh, this could be your career, okay, your goals, whatever you love to do, whatever you've been invested in. I feel like some of you may want instant gratification. And then I'm also hearing that some of you, it's not necessarily instant gratification, but you just want to see some kind of result, okay? You want to see some kind of return. You want to see your efforts paying off, right? You want to see some sort of reward, right? Absolutely, Leo, I understand. But I feel like God is just testing you to see how uh, committed you are to what it is that you truly want. Do you truly desire this? Do you want it for all the right reasons? Are you committed to what it is that you say that you want? Are you committed to the life that you feel like you deserve to live? Because if you are, then you're going to stay 10 toes down and you're going to keep doing what you need to do. Even if you're not seeing the recognition that you want right away. Even if you're not seeing the kind of payout or rewards that you want right away. So I feel like your determination, your motivation, your drive is being tested right now. Patience is needed. Okay, Leo? Some of you can have Sagittarius in your chart. But I'm getting patience is needed. Also, I feel like you're tapping into like this fearless energy. Okay, so have no fear. Yeah, that's the truth. Everything I'm saying is the truth. But have no fear to speak your truth as well as what I'm hearing. Okay, I also feel like you're keeping it real with family and friends. Like you letting people know like what it really is. You're not biting your tongue for nobody. You letting them know exactly how you feel about them. Okay, don't ask me if you don't really want to know the truth. Don't ask me my opinion if you want me to lie to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Leo. Somebody here may be saying that you're harsh. You're a bit harsh, or you know, you hurt their feelings, or you ain't gotta say it like that. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Shit like that. So Leo, just be mindful of your delivery. Okay. It may not be what you're saying. Your message could be perfect. Your message may be very, um, it may be helpful. It may be very beneficial. Whatever it is that you're speaking, it, it, I feel like you're speaking some real shit, but I feel like your delivery is off. I feel like somebody here feels like you're harsh or you could word things a little bit differently. I'm hearing that you need to be a little bit more compassionate or this is how you're feeling about somebody, okay? I feel like you feel this way about somebody, yeah, this could be a lover of yours. You like it's not it's not that you disagree with what this person is saying or what they talking about. It's just their delivery. Like, yo, who the fuck you think you're talking to? Why are you talking to me like that? Why are you it's like you ain't gotta say shit like that. You ain't really gotta be like that. Yeah, some of y'all dealing with an Aries. Yeah, Aries could be hot heads. Trust me, I know I'm an Aries rising. <laughs> Sometimes we could be a bit harsh. I feel like this person needs to tone it the fuck down. They don't know who they're talking to. So, Leah, I feel like you could be going back and forth with somebody. You got to let somebody, you got to put somebody in a place real quick. One time for the one time. You got to snatch this motherfucker up by their collar real quick. Because they don't know who they're talking to. It's a Gemini or Virgo or an Aries or another Leo like yourself or a Taurus. But whoever this is, they need to be mindful of how they talk to you. I'm getting here that somebody's delivery is off the chain. <laughs> Could be a Pisces for some of y'all too. It's like you ain't about to talk to me any way you think you... You are you, not about to talk to me any old way. You got me fucked up. So some of y'all could be going back and forth with somebody like that. You just... It's not what this person say. It's just how they say it. Okay. Somebody could be saying this about you, Leo. Again, take it as a resonate. Cross watch your apart of as you see fit. I do feel like everything is working, yo, working out for you, though, Leo. You got the will of fortune here. I feel like things are working out for you, working out for your highest good. I also feel like some of you could be moving into a new home, okay? Or you could be renovating your current home. Yeah, I just saw the card of happy home. Okay, I also feel like... You may be nervous to be single. Leo, you nervous to be single? For real? Not y'all, okay? What set of Leos I'm talking to? And some of y'all could have been in a connection for a long time, and you may be fearing, like, disconnected from this person. Like, you don't want to make the wrong choice. You don't want to be impulsive. Like, damn, we had one argument, and I broke up with them. Like, I don't want to regret it. But I really feel like this is not one argument. I feel like this is something that Joe has been considering for a while. 
you don't have any passion for this person. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm getting. Some of y'all have lost passion for somebody or something. Or you feel like this person has lost passion for you. But it's like y'all just, it's no spark. It's no, it's no passion. It's like maybe even when y'all are intimate, right? When y'all have y'all intimate moments. It's like it don't hit the same. It don't feel the same. It's like, yo, just bust your nut and so I could go to sleep. Like, get the fuck off me. Hurry up. You know? <laughs> like, it's like it's giving that. It's like, yo, get off and... Hurry up and get off so you can get off me, okay? Hurry up and bust bust your nuts so I can go to sleep, okay? I got shit to do in the morning. I got to wake up. I got to go to work. Like, I'm just really getting this energy where there's a lack of passion. And Leo, you a fire sign. You need passion. You need, you know, who don't need passion? But Leo, you really need passion. Leo, you need to feel wanted, desired, loved, admired, you know? You want somebody to stroke your ego. You want somebody to make you feel good. You want somebody to make you feel like you're attractive, like you're desired, like you're lovable, like you're a good lover, you're a good partner. You want somebody to make you feel at home, like they, like, you know, like they respect you, they honor you, that they're grateful for you. And I feel like whatever this is, you don't feel that way in this situation. You feel the complete opposite. You feel like somebody's a loose fucking cannon. You feel like somebody don't know how to talk to you. You feel like the sex is not hitting if y'all having sex at all. You feel like there's a lack of passion. You just not feeling this shit. You like, yo, fuck you. Break up with me, please. Some of y'all could be waiting for this person to break up with you. <laughs> you could be purposely doing shit so this person could break up with you as well. You like I, I wish this mo I, I hope this motherfucker leave me like I hope they put me out or I hope they they tell me that I have to leave or they don't want to be with me I I can't wait for this motherfucker to break up with me. Some of y'all feel this way or cross watching you feel this way towards Leo, but I'm getting here that somebody gonna get their wish, <laughs> and Leo for many of you is you. You gonna get your wish? I have the sun card here. You about to be happy than a motherfucker because this Virgo, this Gemini, this Aries. This Pisces, they get on your last nerve. This person get on your last motherfucking nerve. Could be a Cancer for some of y'all as well. Some of y'all are in love with a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Gemini. Yeah, some of y'all in love with a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Gemini. You want to be with that person instead. You think about that person a lot, like how things would have been if you would have been with them. Yeah, it's a Gemini. Some of you, some of y'all, your heart is with a Gemini. Your heart is with a Gemini or a Cancer or a Scorpio. Your heart is with somebody else, Leo. That's why you in the reverse. Your heart is with somebody else. It really is. I'm getting here that your heart is literally with somebody else, a Cancer or a Gemini specifically. And there could be another Gemini, a Virgo, a Aries, a Pisces. Or another Leo like yourself that's getting on your last fucking nerves. Yeah, you don't feel connected to this person. You don't feel in sync with this person. You don't feel like this person respects you or understands your love language. You feel like you and this person speak two different languages. Like, y'all speak two different tunes. Like, you don't feel in sync with this person. And I feel like you've been very patient in this situation. You're trying to be patient to see if things will change. You're trying to be patient to see if your feelings will change. I'm, I'm telling you, it's something here about your health, too. You need to be be mindful of your health and what you're eating, okay? I also feel like you can have an Aquarius or a Capricorn ancestor that's watching over you. This person's trying to communicate with you during this time. This person could also be trying to communicate with you when it comes to your health. I'm, I'm getting here that you feel imbalanced or you feel alone. Some of you also may want to, some of you, you are a father figure or you, you could be a child and you may have a father figure here. Your father or you are this father figure. You may be feeling like you need to connect with somebody more. So I'm getting here that there's a father figure that feels like they need to connect with their child more. Or there's a child here that feels like they could need to connect with their father more. Somebody here may want to travel and move so that they could be closer to their child. 
or their child may want to travel and move so that they, they can be closer to their father. Alright, let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me some more messages for Leo. Leo, I feel like you will be able to connect with your child more. Or Leo, if you are this child and you want to connect with your parents more, specifically a father, I feel like you will be able to connect with this person more. I'm also getting here that somebody's father could have passed away. All you need to do is talk to them. The, the line of communication is already open. This person is waiting to hear from you. Your father wants to hear from you if your father has transitioned. I'm also getting if somebody's mother has transitioned. This person is ready to talk to you. The line of communication is open. All you need to do is talk to them. Somebody here has an ancestor, a parent specifically that they need to communicate with that they miss. This person could be an Aquarius, strong Aquarius energy here. Some of you have a, oh shit. Some of you have an ancestor that's an Aquarius. This could be a parent, <laughs> okay? The star card here twice. All you need to do is talk to this person. They're always listening. The line of communication is always open. This person is telling you that you'll be able to manifest everything that you want, Leo. They want you to connect with them. They want you to talk to them. This person watches over you constantly. Yes, they watch over you constantly, Leo. You have a mother or a father that could have passed away. This person watches over you 24-7. You are never out of their sight. And they would love for you to talk, talk to them. This person also wants you to be happy when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships. They saying that you deserve to be happy. And this person knows that whoever you with or whoever you connected to, you're not necessarily happy with them. And they feel like this situation needs to come to an end. So you have an ancestor that could have transitioned and passed away that's watching over you. And they feel like whoever you romantically connected to does not deserve you. Or you two just not for each other. Y'all not made for each other. You need to get out of that relationship. You need to get out of that situation. Period. And I feel like that's what I just picked up on earlier anyway. Like this person don't talk to you. They're not very kind. They don't know how to talk to you. And you don't feel appreciated, desired, or loved by this person. And it's not that they're a bad person. You just don't feel connected to them. At all. And there's no passion here. Period. So give me some more messages for Leo. Yeah, you feel trapped, you feel stuck, you feel heartbroken. Leo, I feel like crying right now. I feel like you feel like crying. Maybe you need to cry. You hold your tears in, you hold your pain in. You don't cry or you when you cry, you try to stop crying. It's like you want to cry, but you hold it in, you don't cry. And if you do cry, you stop yourself from crying. It's like you need a release. Let that shit out. What, what you... It ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Let that shit out. Some way or another, it gotta come out. If you need to cry, you need to cry, period. Cry. Let it out. Y'all are not happy. Leo, I feel like you're not happy. But I feel like you will be happy because something here going in that's draining you. And it could be this relationship. But I'm telling you, something here that's breaking your heart, something here that's stressing you out is about to come to an end. And you're gonna be like, oh. I could see the sun again. I could see the sunlight again. I, I feel happy again. I feel more at peace again. I feel like you want to work as well. Like you need something to keep you busy. You want to be active. You want to work. I told you earlier you need to be active. Some of y'all need to exercise. But I'm getting here that you just want to be active. You want to be busy. You want to have something that you need to work on. Some of you could also be super busy right now when it comes to work and I feel like you're doing this to mask how you feel it's like you don't want to deal with your emotions you don't want to deal with your pain you don't want to deal with what's breaking your heart you don't want to deal with how you feel about this person how you know it's like you don't want to face those feelings so you bury your head in work I'm getting that for some of y'all too some of y'all are burying your head in work because you don't want to deal with this heartbreaking situation that you got going on I feel like you don't talk to nobody either. I feel like you don't open up to no fucking body. 
not even your ancestors, not God, nobody. I feel like you just keep all this shit bottled in. Why? You need to express how you feel. You need to talk to somebody. And I also feel like the person that you do want to talk to, they don't know how to talk to you. I keep getting that. They don't know how to talk to you or they just brush off everything you say. They don't actually sit down and listen to you to actually understand you. It's like this person just hears you and responds. And the way they respond is very unpleasant. It's like this person is not actually communicating with you. They're not actually hearing you and understanding you. They're not giving any advice, nothing. They just responding in a very unpleasant way. It's like, well, I don't even know why the fuck I even said anything to you. Just forget it. This person does not understand you, Leo. They don't understand you. And I feel like you know that. And this is why you just keep shit to yourself. Leo, you feel like you have nobody to talk to. With the six of wands and the reverse here and the moon card, it's like, this is why I just keep the shit to myself. This is why I just keep things bottled up. I keep things hidden. Some of y'all can have Sagittarius, Scorpio, or Pisces placements. I'm telling you, the will going to turn in your favor, though, Leo. Everything going to be okay. With the will of fortune here and the sun, it's like in the tower. I feel like something here is ending, but you're going to be okay. Yeah, you're getting away from an empress in the reverse. You're leaving this person. You don't trust this person. You don't feel connected to this person. You're leaving them. And when you leave them, they're going to be stressed the fuck out. They're going to wish that they treated you better. I'm telling you, the Empress reverse, the Star reverse, and the Five of Pentacles, you're leaving this person. This could be someone that y'all have children with, but you're leaving this person. This person could be a Taurus, a Libra, or an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, whoever fuck this is that I'm seeing. You're leaving this person, and when you leave them, they're going to be stuck in the Nine of Swords. They're going to be sad, crying, wish that they did you better. They're going to be burdened because they know that you're a good, a good person. You're a good person, Leo. You're an emperor. You're a good person. Now, I feel like you're disappointed. You hate the fact that you got to walk away from this person. You hate the fact that this cycle has come to an end. Everything that I'm saying is the truth. You wish that things would have worked out here, Ace of Swords. But there go that world card here. You're letting this shit go. This shit is coming to an end. It's over. It's done with. And it's going to bring you so much more peace. It's going to bring you so much more happiness. Do not hold on to something that you that you know isn't going anywhere. Period. I don't give a fuck what it is. For this, for some of y'all, this is definitely a relationship I'm picking up on. But whatever, Leo, whatever it is, baby, let that shit go. You are tired. You are drained. You are frustrated. You don't feel appreciated. You don't feel respected. You don't feel valued. You don't, you don't feel loved. I'm telling you, you're going to have so much more peace in your heart, so much more happiness. Once you speak your truth, you separate and you let this shit go. It's coming to an end anyway. I feel like this ending is inevitable. That's why the tower is here. And I feel like what, when, if this is a person that you're leaving, which for some of you it is, this person going to be so stressed when you leave their ass. I'm telling you, they're going to be so stressed. Because whoever this is, they're very confident that you need them or you have nowhere to go. Or this person feels like you're just never going to leave. They feel like you're comfortable with the toxic shit that y'all got going on. But they don't realize that you're suffering. You just, you suffer in silence. You don't open up. So this person thinks that you're okay with the toxicity. They think that you're okay with the bullshit that's going on between you two, but you're not. You're out. I'm telling you, you're fucking out. This person is toxic as fuck. And they asses is going to be restless when you leave them. They're going to be super restless when you leave them. Because there's a lot of stability and a lot of happiness here for you, Leo. This is not the end of the road. This is not how your life is supposed to be. This is not how you're about to live the rest of your years. I'm getting here that you want to live the rest of your years out. And you want to be fulfilled. You want to be happy. And this is not how you're going to be living the rest of your years. You're about to detach from this person. Period. You're going to detach from this person. And they may call you immature, they may call you impulsive, they may be very angry, they may even accuse you of loving somebody else and that's why you're leaving them. But Leo, it's just that you're tired. With the strength reverse and the five of wands, it's not that you're necessarily in love with somebody else or you're cheating on them or anything like that. You're just fucking tired of fighting, you're tired of arguing, you're tired of the lack of passion, the lack of respect, you're tired of this person just not treating you properly, not appreciating you it's like the bare minimum. Like, you could just talk to me like an adult. Like, you could talk to me like you got some fucking sense. You just tired. Strength reverse and the five of wands. You just tired and you tired of going back and forth. You tired of going back and forth. For some of you, this is the mother or father of your child. You just tired of going back and forth with this person. For some of you, this person wants you to marry them. 
It's like this person wants you, they expect you to marry them, but they the ones cheating on you. The fuck out of here. So for Leo, for some of you, this person's actually cheating on you. And I feel like this is something that you could have suspected. For others of you, you cheating on this person too. But y'all have children together, y'all share a home together, y'all marry, and so y'all just stay. But you just tired of fighting with this person. You tired of them cheating on you. You also tired of cheating on them. It's like, yo, all we do is cheat on each other and fight. Why the fuck are we staying married? Why the fuck are we staying together? I'm out. Like, I'm not doing this shit with you no more. I'm unhappy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. This shit is coming to an end. With the tower here, I feel like this shit is it's the inevitable. I'm telling you. With the tower here twice, this shit is the inevitable. It's like, fuck this. We can co-parent. For those of you that actually have kids, y'all gonna end up co-parenting or something. But somebody here is just tired. They're tired. It's like, all you do is cheat on me, I cheat on you. All we do is fight, all we do is argue. But we staying in this connection because we married. Or we staying in this connection because we live together, because we have children. That's not enough. That's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Like, I'm getting here that that's not enough. This is not enough to keep me. It's not enough to keep you, period. That's, I think that's what I'm a title is. It's not enough to keep you. And that's just that on that. And whoever this is, they're going to be dumb tight when you leave. I'm telling you, this is somebody that's going to be, no, 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 I'll be better. I promise I'm going to be better. Nah. Mm -mm. Save it, shorty. Okay? Some of y'all going to be like, yo, save it, shorty. <laughs> Leo, what the fuck y'all got going on, baby? But I promise you happiness is right around the corner. Make sure you're taking care of your mental health, Leo. Make sure you're taking care of your mental health. Okay? And I'm telling you, if you eat better or if you... Trust me, I know. Because y'all know I go up and down, up and down, up and down. But I'm I'm back down now, y'all. I've been on my shit, y'all. But um, I'm telling you, if you eat better, if you, if you be more active and you work out and shit like that, you will emotionally feel better like i'm telling you so some of y'all are emotionally all over the place and i'm getting here that a lot has to do with your diet okay or like just over like drinking too much or smoking too much just overeating and shit like that it's what you're putting in your body um it's blocking your intuition and it's also causing you to be emotionally imbalanced okay so just think about that just make healthier choices baby and start moving your body around a little bit more. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel a big difference when it comes to your emotional state. Okay? Alright, I love you, Leo. I hope that this message has helped. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay? I will talk to y'all soon. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye, Leo. Deuces.